Okay, today on Hammer and Hummer, we're going to have, um, we're going to discuss the um, Ontario Health Coalition. With us today is Hammer, and we've got Hummer Tot, and your host Pete. So, anyways, you've prepared something for us. Yes. Uh, since 2003, uh, Dalton McHarris and uh, liberal conservatives have uh, broken many promises, and they continue breaking promises. Okay, what are one of these promises they've broken? Oh, uh, the, the hospital. No, I hear it's going to be delayed for maybe another year, a year and a half because of the P3s, which means uh, privatiza privatization through the back door. But the liberals, conservatives, they, they, they're no different than my parents. Okay. But uh, here's the thing. How long would this hospital have taken under the NDP? Well, I believe if we would have kept it under uh, public hands, and funded uh, publicly, we would have got a hospital, but it would have been 100% covered, which in the long term is good for patients because uh, all that money is 100% that okay. goes back into the system, not to, to people's uh, okay. shared uh, options. Okay, but didn't the options. NDP put caps on seats in medical schools as well as didn't they cap doctor salaries? Yeah, they did, and that was a mistake. But and now we know the history because 2020 hindsight, and everybody be rich with winning a lot. Now we have Bob the Knob Ray, his true liberal colors, uh, disguised through his N NDP being a premier, but he was just being a liberal because he didn't bring in government run insurance and and he did what he did. That's a liberal trait. Sure. Liberal conservative. But, anyways, I. But what weren't, weren't Howard Hampton. Okay. Uh, I, I just one question. Weren't Howard Hampton. Tony Martin and Howard's wife, um, Sheila Martell, weren't they um, a strong part of Bob Ray's? In fact, I, I recall reading that uh, Bob Ray gave a donation to Tony Martin's last uh, campaign. Uh, to, uh, that money should be returned okay. because they talk. They talk about uh, you know Bus Hargrove. Uh, yeah. He got re revoked and corrupted because you can't support a party then and then at the same time support another party and, and no. a membership card is clear. So. That you, uh, let me so the current NDP uh, was please. part of this. Okay. Let me uh, finish. Let me okay. Finish. Uh, 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 Tony, he should have returned that money. Okay. And the, the, the way I found out was through the King uh, uh, Wire Service, mm -hmm. through the uh, internet, that uh, that he uh, got a donation. The executive didn't know. I was part of the executive at the time. He didn't say nothing to nobody. Okay. He, he wanted to keep it under wraps, and now it's on the light. What he should do, being a real new Democrat, he yeah. should return that money, that dirty money back to Bob the Knob Ray, that sure. conservative liberal. What, what position were you holding on the uh, executive at that time? I was a uh, vice president. Okay. And, and but, I, but I guess the point I'm asking is you said it was under Bob Ray, who's now liberal, but weren't were Howard Hampton, Shelley Martell, and Tony Martin also part of that yeah, government? Yeah, but he, he called the shop because the buck stops at his office. Okay. So he, the thing is, now 16 years later, the dirty laundry comes out in yeah. 2020 hindsight at the moment. But what I'm saying here is, uh, uh, where is it he had the opportunity? Because I talked to him uh, okay. a week or two after he got elected. And I said, you could be a trained SEAL. Or you could be a, uh, like Peter Cormos and stand up for your constituents. He did not do that. He's a trained SEAL because they, they delisted a chiropractor, mm -hmm. optometrist, and a physiotherapist uh, in an Ontario Health uh, Insurance Plan. Now patients pay private pr practitioners directly, and only those who can afford these services will receive them. And what, what uh, Mr. Orzetti should be doing is cancelling that health tax, because mm -hmm. that's a user fee. And also, who does uh, the health tax affect? Affects uh, working people, okay. like, like myself. And, and Do you it's pay a regressive it? tax. It's a regressive tax, yeah. Okay. And the thing is that we should not be paying that. What he should be doing, what the liberals should have done. I is, thought it is only affects the taxes that, that Mike Harris brought into corporation. They, mm -hmm. they still have that 35 percent tax cut. They, they should uh, rescind that tax cut to the big corporations and use that money for health care, not tax the working class and the working poor. Okay. And, and the Liberals know that, and Orzetti knows that, and he should know better. He comes from a working class family. Hmm. But I thought it was only the upper people in higher income back. No, actually, actually, as it goes higher, they pay less. 
the lower you you make in your uh, salary, you pay more. Okay. And that's regressive. And then the liberals, you know, when they're in opposition, they sure sound good, but when they get in power, they're good conservatives like Mike Harris, Paul Martin, Sean Cretchen, Brian Maroney. Same old, same old. Okay. And Bob Ray. Yeah, Bob the Knob Ray, Mr. Okay. Liberal Conservative. Yeah. yeah, you're right about that. And uh, another thing, uh, the Health Coalition in Ottawa, uh, according to, to documents provided by the Royal Ottawa Hospital, is 41% more expensive than it needed to be due to Mc, uh, McHarris government choice to build hospital through private for profit companies, stated Hugh McKenzie, economics with the McKenzie Associate. My review of the figures show that the interest rates of the private companies 250 basis points higher than if the province funded the hospital itself and building it using traditional public uh, uh, procurement uh, methods. So so what the Liberals are doing is no different than Mike Harris. And then the people of 2003 want to change, but they want a progressive change. They didn't get okay. that. And in and, and 2007 October, Mr. Warizetti will be unemployed because working class people are not patsies and will not be treated as patsies and the working poor. And increase the minimum wage immediately. Because working poor haven't had a raise in the Harris uh, regime for eight years, and the Liberals dithered and platitudes, and that's all they're about. They're not about action. So in the next election, vote for Howard Hampton and the NDP okay. if you want action. A quick question for you on that point. Um, why Hampton as opposed to the Green Party? Because uh, uh, Howard Hampton, uh, he, he brought it up in the 2003 election to raise it up to $10 uh, an hour uh, uh, before or, or at 2007, but we have a private members bill by uh, Sherry Devono to have it uh, in 2006. It's going to second reading. Second so reading right now, and that's interesting because the Liberals supported it. Because yeah. they're that embarrassed. The, oh, no, they're no. embarrassed, and they should be embarrassed. Mr. Okay. Orzetti should be embarrassed. And he mm. should be standing up for working class. This is okay. a working class town. Where it, are you, Mr. Orzetti, on this issue? Okay. Nowhere to be found. Just a quick question. Is that the same Sherry DeNovo who, a uh, couple days after the Pope, John Paul II, who is beloved by many working class Poles and um, Italians, a couple days after he died, bl she blamed him for thousands of AIDS deaths in uh, Africa? I don't know uh, too much about that issue, but uh, I can look into it. But, mm. but the, the, the bottom line is people are uh, suffering in this economy. People are losing their jobs. Same Mary's paper mm -hmm. right now because the Liberals uh, hide the privatization uh, a continuous of Mike, uh, Mike Harris's policy and now it's coming to roost. Okay. And those 430 uh, workers are in jeopardy. And what does Orizetti do? I haven't heard a bloody thing from him in the last couple of weeks. And, he, and he's like a trained seal. And I told him, after you got elected, a week uh, after you got elected, uh, we had a little discussion over the telephone. I said you could be a trained seal, or you can stand up for workers. He ch he made his bet in 2000 and October uh, to 2007. It'll be bye bye, and okay. he can join the the conservatives and the liberal conservatives uh, can enjoy themselves mm -hmm. in the uh, yeah. benches of the opposition. Yeah, aren't energy prices lower now than what they were under Bob Ray? Not really, because because uh, uh, a lot of jobs have been lost, especially in Northern Ontario. Uh, own government figures uh, uh, they lost over six thousand uh, jobs okay. in Northern Ontario since uh, they've been elected, and there's actually more. Actually, uh, they say over the last two and a half years, twelve thousand five hundred direct and indirect jobs have been destroyed in the Ontario okay. forced sector economy. Yeah. Hardworking people have lost their jobs, their livelihood, their homes. In some cases, they even lost their family as mills have. Cut down operations. Okay. Whole communities being hit hard by mill yeah. closure and cutback, and you know why? Yeah. Because of Mike Harris' uh, uh, okay. uh, privatization in the hydro system, and and Dalton okay. McGivney had a choice. He could have chose uh, uh, Main Street, but he chose Bay Street. Okay. And you know what? High Park. Uh, but why put all the um, responsibility on Orzetti's shoulders? Is it Tony Martin, Martin, our MP? What's Tony done for these workers? He's speaking, he's, on that issue, he's speaking out, but he's in the federal scene, and this is... But what's he doing? I mean, Tony speaks a lot, but I mean, what has he done for these workers? Uh, 1990, 
So, so you remember but I mean was today, I mean, you asked the question, let me answer it now. Yeah, but I mean today, what's he doing for was, these workers? It, 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 I, that was, not, that was 16 years ago. What's no, he but, doing but today? He something. What's Orzebi's he doing today? Or Zebi says, oh, okay. a person but, in government. So Tony's not in power. No, no, 